Oh, you like that? You want to hear the music? I appreciate that. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to a very special edition of the 404 Show. Today, I'm very lucky. I've got two fantastic comedians. Uh, maybe tempered luckiness, mm. quote unquote. Uh, I admire you gentlemen a great deal. You may know them from their work on the infamous MTV sketch show The State or Comedy Central's Reno 911, mm-hmm. mm. which had six seasons of glory. Mm. Uh, some, some and people would the, say five, <laughs> and then one that's like and one that was of, that the fans hated. One that was a divider, I would it was, say, at yeah. best. Be, almost beyond that. A yeah. line in the sand, if yeah. you will. Yeah. Uh, or as the writers of the Night at the Museum movies, yeah. which I tell people mm-hmm. they're surprised by that. They didn't mm-hmm. know that. It's a fun fact. We have a pretty uh, schizophrenic career, I guess is a Eclectic. good way to describe it. Yeah. Eclectic? 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 What do you call a crazy dude who's like wearing a tinfoil hat at the bus station? Schizophrenic. Sure. Yeah. A, a, a schizophrenic. Not, dweller. Ec- not no, no. eclectic. Street dweller who's saying, I made you up. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Who's just speaking to the trash can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, we have that, that kind of career. That's not eclectic. That's schizophrenic. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with you guys. You seem like very uh, well put together uh, dudes. Um you're here because your latest collaboration is, is a film called Hell Baby. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, which tells uh, the ridiculous story of what happens to a uh, an expecting couple, mm-hmm. expecting twins, and they mm-hmm. move into uh, a, Spooky a, a house. haunted house the, in mm-hmm. New Orleans. Yes. So ha- the movie was almost, it almost had a couple different titles. Yes. One of the titles is something that Keegan-Michael Key, who plays Fresnel in the film, yes. at one point he says, folks just call it the Spooky Old Hath on Down Away. <laughs> And we almost called the movie the Spooky, Spooky Old House, House on Down, down with Away. With the lisp and everything. Yeah, yeah. with the whole thing. Spooky. Um, but then it, it seemed like a little long. Yeah. yeah. We almost and called then, it Hell Baby 2. I, here's the, the sequel. Thing. Yes. I'm going to go out on a limb. I actually like Hell Baby 2 better than Hell Baby. Hell Baby 2 is pretty funny. To me, it makes more sense for... We pitched it to folks and people were very oh, they didn't like confused. It. Really? They really yeah. didn't like it. But in fairness, we didn't really like Hell Baby that much either. No. We were like, okay. Hell Baby 2 is growing on me the more yeah. that we talk Hell about Baby it. Hell Baby 2. I mean, it's only a small... Sort of edit. I feel like yeah. even SEO wouldn't mm-hmm. really kill you. Yeah, no. you might be able to. Well, we had figured out a whole backstory that Hell yeah. Baby One was unreleasable. Right. That we, that we'd get on the it. press junket. We'd say, Oh, oh no, there oh, was a Hell Baby oh, One. Yeah. Don't oh, go. See there's it. bootlegs. Un- 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 unwatchable. Don't go see it. Un- <laughs> unwatchable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I'd like to introduce you, fine gentlemen, Thomas Lennon, Robert Ben Garant. Thanks for being here. Thank you Thanks for having us. This is a pleasure. Thanks. I love your guys' stuff. I've been, a, I've been watching since I'm a, a wee lad, the thank state you. and all that. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank and uh, this is special for me. So uh, we, make we it are, special for we're me. We're at that I'm age saying. that we meet a lot of people who were raised on uh, the state. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yeah. Whose parents had left them unattended. I'm just not for saying. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. But your parents kind of left you unattended. And yeah. Checking on you. There was a lot of that. Watching music It was the 90s. It was the 90s. Yeah. It was the crazy 90s. It was crazy time. Yeah. You basically raised yourselves. Yeah, a lot right. of you are cutters. cutters. Yes, you know what I mean a lot of cutters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's when the emo thing was first started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. emos and cutters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Emos and cutters. And yeah, bong dwellers. <laughs> bong. And, well, yeah, a lot yeah. of basements. Yes. Yeah. yeah it was yeah. the basement. Era. The, we are the basement tapes. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We were kids too. I mean, we were only like that's true. We were twenty-five we were only... by the time it was done. Yeah. Over with the yeah. state. State was yeah. canceled off CBS by the time we were twenty-five. Yeah. The state's kind of amazing because it's a different. It was. It wasn't that long ago in the grand scheme of things. And, <laughs> and yet, that's a very and yet, interesting and yet, pause. And yeah, yet, and it, yet. But in terms of like right. the era of entertainment and mm-hmm. what we have now, right. think about when the state was on. There's no internet. No. The only. And, and cable was fairly yeah. new. Yeah. 24 hour yeah. cable was, was new. Psyched. HBO used to go off the air, which kids don't remember. Oh, yeah. No one was like remembers. the Native yeah. American yeah. pattern. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. If the state were to exist now, I don't think. Well, the the birthday boys have a TV show. Yeah, they do. Yeah, on but IC, I don't. Yeah. I don't know that we would have ever gotten into television. Subsequently, everything that we do. Yeah, sure. if we hadn't been, we 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 probably would have done like Funny or Die yeah. videos mm-hmm. and stuff. Because that sort of seems like a path now. That, and that's yeah. the equivalent. I mean, because we nobody was Funny or Die videos TV. and and drugs and drugs. Sure. Yeah, and yeah. just sat around and playing Goldeneye. Oh and my God, Goldeneye. which we did. The state. So we'll I heard this where we were talking briefly before mm-hmm. we went on. That Goldeneye, 007, almost destroyed the state. We well, lost Jan first. He disappeared. And then I was next. Goldeneye. Todd went off to Joel Joe. Joe. We just Joe people, people just dropped, dropped with the Goldeneye. None people. of us had ever seen a video game like Goldeneye. Well, people just dropped like flies. Yeah. People it, would spend all night playing it and yeah. all the next day playing it. Nobody went outside. Nobody yeah. wrote comedy jokes. I lived with like a really attractive like 22-year-old yeah. actress. I didn't pay any attention to her. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, those were the days. That's crazy because I was literally just sitting, puffing on Merritt, playing uh, Goldeneye. Yeah, that's like, it. I mean, hey, how do you kill a guy in a wall? 
Zoom right, in, right. zoom in, zoom in. Let's and go. you like throw a hat yeah. every now and then, yeah. right? Yeah. Call each yeah. other on your landlines to ask how you kill people on the dam. So, so excited to flip your hands. So it really like it just destroyed. It just that the disrupted productivity. Golden Eye and Mist. Oh, Mist. Mist. Yeah. The, the the year that Mist came out, it put the whole group on hiatus for about six months. We didn't do any do anything. Yeah. So that we're I all mean, playing. We we're all in our <laughs> separate dwellings playing Mist. So depressing. And little did you know, you're like, you have this amazing opportunity. You have youth. It's a beautiful sunny a beautiful day outside New of York. New York is your oyster. There's you know what? I'm gonna girls in the them. sheep meadow. Nah, <laughs> frolicking. <laughs> uh. Hey, man, when you light okay, when you light the burner and you turn the heat up and then you walk to the rocket ship, why doesn't the rocket ship go? You <laughs> oh, play, yeah, because you, you got to remember to turn the switch first. Go play the piano first, then light the burner. This meanwhile, is amazazing. There's, meanwhile, there's actual orgies happening in New York City. Like and right next door. <laughs> East Village is covered with orgies. And we're trying to figure out mist. So that, sad. Yeah. That's amazing. So, do you still play games? Are you guys still no, no. active games? Um, I no. From no. there's a there's a telltale aspect of my life, which is right around the time right after GoldenEye. Yeah. I quit video games forever. Really? Yes. Forever. This, I never looked back. This is like a drug. Subsequently, Ben and I have had ten or eleven films that got made. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, and I I can't TV help show. but notice that I feel like there's and three TV shows. There is a correlation. And four or five failed be. pilots. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's a correlation. Yeah. Between me not. Spending like fourteen hours or sixteen hours a day, wondering how to kill wandering the around, the <laughs> trying to how to, trying to kill the guy up on the up on the dam. You, yeah. you guys are really making me question. My no, 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 because I, I kind of re- I, I review be video happy. games too and be happy. Now I'm like, follow your bliss. Well, I wanna, follow your bliss. I want to be follow funny I, and way, entertain. And now it's just no crashing well, but down. But there's plenty of people that say we're not even that entertaining anyway. That's so. true. Yeah. What do they know? Oh, we have a lot of yeah. How's yeah. their show going? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, how about that? All right. Well, let's talk about what you guys have been working on for a little while. Hell, baby. Hell, baby. This is a genre that I don't think I've mm-hmm. seen from you guys yet, right? You guys have uh, flirted with horror before, or we watch it really. We watch horror it a lot. movies than comedies, yeah. probably. Okay. We talk about horror movies more, like Mama. Like when a We're good new into, horror movie comes out, oh, we get very excited. We tell sure. each, oh, you got to see the orphanage. You got to see Double more, Back more than we get excited about, like when a comedy comes out. When a comedy comes out, it's like, oh yeah, that's yeah. like work. It's like, oh yeah, it's like work. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah, you cool. watch, oh, that's. I mean, if I really, you know. Get excited about it, but horror movies feels like work. Horror movies feel like a, a vacation. Yeah, it's fun. Really? Yeah, yeah, going to see horror movies. So, what's your favorite horror right? movie of all time? All time, uh, it's either The Changeling with George C. Scott. Hmm. Uh, say what you want. The Exorcist is very hard to top. Exorcist it's, is well it's for great. its time too. Yeah, I think. but even it's still, not, even not even controversial. Now. It's <laughs> yeah. it's great. Like it, it and it's, it'll still scare the balls it's off. It's also yeah. an yeah. hour before anything happens. Well, it's real it, quiet. It's real quiet. I like the quiet it, ones. Orphanage is very quiet. Too. Orphanage I haven't is seen that. Oh. Orphanage is, that, uh, is great. Is that Rent the Guillermo orphanage right now. Yes. Yeah. produced it. Yeah. He produced it. I don't know if he directed it. He didn't. But it's is a beautiful. It's a creepy, slow, fantastic. I appreciate that. There's two times in Orphanage that you'll get actual like the hair on your body will stand. Up. Really? Yep. All right. Twice. Devil's that Backbone's were... good. Also yeah. very good. Devil's Backbone's a good one. Um, have you ever seen The Exorcist Three? No. The Was Exorcist unaware of such a film until Three. It's also great. with George C. Scott. Okay. George Brad C. Scott. Dourif. Brad Dourif plays the Scorpio Killer. It's great. If, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. If you don't gasp out loud and clench your butt super hard, <laughs> yeah, well, it's got twice. it's got two. two Great scares. Your, like two of the best scares back. in movies are in that. Really, movie, you know, just, and oh, they make you wait for wait. You wait, oh, wait, that. wait, wait so long. Two, two it's actually, maybe more than two, but two of them are bona fide. Mm-hmm. You can see the movie a hundred times, and you're still. Yeah, Mama actually has a moment. Did you see Mama? No, it's good. Mama's terrific. Mama has a moment that's sort of inspired by that long. There's a long hallway scene Ooh, in The Exorcist right. Three right. that they just make you sit and wait, and you keep thinking something scary is going to happen, but you can't. You know what? When. Evil. It's oh, based it's on the, the book. Yeah. It's based on Legion. Legion. The yeah. William Blatty's book. Okay. Which is the yeah. scariest book. I read that book and I got it out of the house. I like took it to a book donation place and gave it away. Because the demon it was so yeah. scary sure. that I didn't want mm-hmm. the paperback in my home. Fair mm-hmm. enough. And the movie's good. Our film, Hell Baby, is not, not really as scary like that. as that. Well, what we I was good for it to be sometimes scary. Sure. Yeah. And sometimes it's kind well, of. There's a few screamers. There's a couple. Of, there's a, there's like some yelps. A couple yelps. There's a couple yelps. At one point, Rob Cordy yells out, I am so sick of being startled. <laughs> Which is startling very Startling is exactly right. Because yeah. it's not, I'm so startled. Scared, yeah. it's startled. Yeah. When, Mildly... the, when the cast came together, originally we were going to pepper it with some horror movie guys, mm-hmm. like some serious actors, okay. like the head of the Vatican mm-hmm. who assigns this. We were thinking, should that be like Ron Perlman or somebody, somebody from like a real serious? horror movie? Right, right, right. Yeah. But then when we got him, like they, they, he was the last Pasquazi. bastion of maybe yeah. a, 
serious actor, and yeah. then the whole movie realized oh, this is just going to be. It's a pretty movie. silly this movie. As you have you seen it? I have yeah. seen it. Very silly. It's yeah. it's very silly. It's yeah. uh, super weird. Is the way they say it. creepy. So <laughs> we were describing weird. it as a combination between Exorcist Three and the Cannonball Run Two. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Yes. So yes. If you like, if you like those films, and you're like, man, I wish somebody would mash up those two ideas. Exorcist three and Cannibal. There's and been a two. void in yeah. that. Oh exactly. yeah, yeah. Severe lack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of such a mash. There mash must up. have been some weirdo who was clamoring for that. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. And mm-hmm. you've and you've hopefully helped them to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now they to don't whoever that do so, uh, person is. I, I I watched the film a couple days ago. If you like, um, if you're a fan of ghost dogs. If you're a fan mm-hmm. of zombie blowjobs, mm-hmm. yes. Oh yeah, uh, that's a great sequence. My uh, pregnant lady. Why ladies... do we call the movie that? <laughs> zombie zombie blowjobs blow is so much better. Where is that? Or just at? ghost dogs and zombie blowjobs. In fact, in the time for the like the release in Europe and yeah. Asia, let's call it that. Yeah. Ghost dogs and zombie blowjobs. <laughs> that's probably <laughs> in in Italian. That'll That'd be great. much better. Hey, yeah. Hey, Translation. Hey, and they can hey, get, like, hey, somebody nice. finally make it. Yeah. Hey. Poster, Ghost dog yeah. and a zombie oh, blowjob. Sorry, man. That, that, I was hoping they make one of those. Yeah, that's great. It's about time. All right. Well, ghost dogs, zombie blowjobs. Pregnant ladies like. smoking and drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Who's Leslie drinks that? a lot of paint thinner, actually. She does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vintage porn, which is, I have a sauce. You know, it was yeah. a big, long fight to get the rights to Wii magazine. I didn't even know that was a OUI. Thing. Oh, it's a very real oh, thing. It's a classy, We're showing classy our, our age from but the 70s. When, yeah. a, when a young gentleman was interested in some pornography, sure. that was also thought-provoking. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and a little with a slightly about more how to, how to make a perfect cocktail. Yeah, it was right. a slightly more place. European sensibility. Yeah, it was perfect a perfect dream. It was a lifestyle sort of. Lifestyle. Are you using Are you using enough Kirschwasser in your fondue? Sure. Yeah. It was that. Sure. Yeah, and then naked pictures of seventies ladies with yeah. really really hairy bush. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a great. It was a. It was just a better time. It was a bush time. We had to yeah. track yeah. down the guy who owned the, the rights to it, and he was mm-hmm. just some 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 guy. dude, huh. some dude, some, some weird dude. We just got the rights to it. When he picked up the phone, it just was slippery all the time. Yep. Clone just hanging out in his lair. Busy. Oh, he just busy. hanging out in his lair. <laughs> Whoop! Uh, ah, busy. Hang on, drop the phone. I drop the phone. Hang on. Uh, drop the phone again. And if you like all these things, and my personal favorite, making fun of Ashton Kutcher specifically. We had, we stopped for a while to do that in this movie. The, Which the movie takes a wanna, long just break. Give you a nice little yes. where uh, we we talk about uh, Kutcher's choice of the kinds of cameras and printers that he uh, endorses. Sure. Yes. Um, that improv. Actually went on for about fifteen. Quite minutes, a bit longer. Where yeah. the four of us sat around yeah. and talked about what camera Ashton Kutcher uses yeah. and what printer mm-hmm. and like. Uh, the I believe it's the Nikon Coolpix. Yes. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, man, yeah. you know, he's probably made more money off Nikon. Oh, without a doubt. Than oh. we have it's, in show business. Yes. That's I, oh, easily. 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 Right. I mean, let's easily. see the easily. face. I'm pretty sure easily. I've seen pictures of his house in a magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's working out. It's working out. Oh, it's working out great. And um, we give him a huge shout out in this movie. In fairness, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we say nothing negative. We no, say, no, you're, yeah. you're, you're all overwhelmingly the problems, positive. Mm-hmm. All the problems we talk about in the film, we also talked for a long time about making something called pizza salad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where you take a Domino's pizza, toss it in a bowl with a salad. Right. Also, also from, from Domino's. Domino's. Yeah. And that's kind of, not to spoil the movie, but it's kind of the climax of the film. And that wasn't product placement. We had to go to Domino's Get and permission. beg them you, for permission. Is yeah. that how that works? We, we just like, thought well, that phrase was so funny. And we're like, oh, they want to know the content. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, well, we're making this kind of gross horror movie. And they're like, sure. okay, well, already no. we're not excited. <laughs> no. And there's and gonna be blood, involved. and there's naked lady for a long time. They're yeah. like, Man, and we're very positive us. about yeah, pizza salad. Totally positive. So they said yes. Mm-hmm. They're changing their image. Have mm-hmm. you noticed? They're going digital with the whole like. Have you seen what they do now? They oh like, yeah, you when you wait, there's a little you can talk uh, guy. Talk to the dude cooking your. Yeah, pizza. and he tells you yeah. cracks jokes and stuff. Yeah, and you could pick it could be like a minotaur or making pizza or who's like yeah. Strange. So strange. <laughs> well, how much of Hell Baby were you sort of letting the actors? Because you guys, you guys produced this film, you wrote it, and you directed it as well. How it's m- about eighty. We, we did a lot of improv. Uh, the final cut is probably about eighty percent scripted. Okay. Yeah, a lot probably. of so, the weird thing is some things that don't seem scripted are. Yeah. Sure. And then some things. Pizza salad. Big thing. First draft. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pizza There's salad made it in there from the beginning. There's also yeah. a long speech about how flat Dr. Pepper is still pretty good. That, that, <laughs> got, uh, that okay. got cut. That got cut. Um, but uh, the whole the the ending, the movie ends with this wonderful speech that many out of the of, characters like, help. are you know, ripped like apart. This dramatic sort of just Keegan, talk about uh, race relations in America. Sure. Sure. That was improv. Yeah, that was totally says, uh, out of sometimes nowhere. Sometimes you're walking down the street, you don't even get as much as a hello. <laughs> right. And Leslie looks at him in the most unbelievably. Earnest. Like self-satisfied way and says, "For now, hello." Yeah, and it's it. And it's the stupidest. It's scene. great. It's out of nowhere. <laughs> it literally is like from like a cheesy like Hallmark Hall of Fame yeah. movie, but it is really the end of our movie. Yeah, it yeah. is. And that was improv. That was not. Yeah, they just said that. Yeah, because I don't know why you would put that in the script. 
Yeah, it seemed a little uh, sort of it was like superfluous. Very long, gratuitous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I would argue a lot of the movie is a lot of the movie really gratuitous. Gratuitous, there was a, gratuitous yeah. hell, baby. There was yeah. a critic today who was, like, yeah. was like, Ricky Lindholm has a seven-minute full frontal, oiled-up nude scene that is in no way intrinsic <laughs> to the plot. We're like, yeah. To which my response is. And, I, yes, and, and I need we, to show you my notes. And why are you so mad at me about we this? No, I yeah. need to show you yeah. the notes that I almost verbatim. Kind so of that right exact thing. Like, this chick's been naked for a long, yeah. long yeah. time. It's a yeah. long time. It's, uh, yeah. it, it's, it's that was cool. an interesting thing to pitch to her. Yeah. yeah. How did that work? It went amazingly well. Yeah. yeah. Well, no convincing. Ricky no, does like... a podcast called uh, Making It. Okay. Which is a terrific podcast if you get a chance to listen to Making yeah, It. Good. She asks people like how you get into the industry and such, and. I realized that she has such a great. She's like the sort of the live action Janice from the Electric Mayhem. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Okay, yeah, I'm not familiar lovely. with that. Yeah, Janice from the Electric Mayhem. She's you know the kind of cool. Hang out with the band, yeah, man. walk around naked. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's the, right. she's so, a groovy hippie muppet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah. The yeah. Hey, guys, with the bangs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I was talking to Rick for a long time, I'm like, wow, you're like the you're like that sexy. This is gonna be weird. Sexy Muppet? You're like the no, sexy, how is that weird? sexy Muppet. How is that weird? God, I don't that's, think that's weird. That's not weird. weird. That's... You're like a Muppet that I want to take all her clothes off, yeah. cover in oil, how and make a film about. How is that weird? Is that weird to I say don't, I don't out loud? I don't that's weird. I just want to say that's provocative. Yeah. I, I think, I, I I'm going to go feel good about myself. It's weird. Yeah. I don't feel good about myself because yeah. I'm just picturing myself sort of in a scenario with At least Janice. they didn't, didn't put it, play it out verbatim like yeah. that. Uh, so I said to Ricky, um, hey, there's a scene in the movie, a very funny character, but... Uh, the introduction scene is kind of weird. She says, is it nudity? <laughs> I said, yeah. I love it weird. She's like, oh, nudity. <laughs> nudity, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think when you're Ricky, people picture that a lot. Creepy guys with mustaches frequently hey, say, I got hey. an idea. <laughs> uh, I don't hey, know I got an idea. I, I got a hunch. Be Excuse a, me, are you in show business? I got uh, an idea. <laughs> I'm not sure if you want to be in the, you ever been in the picture. Uh, and she done it before. Because you shouldn't have it. It could be in the picture. And I don't know why I'm making fun of that, because that's exactly what that's I did. Exactly that's exactly what want to be in the picture. That was the pitch. Yeah. That's how you produce. Yeah. All right. Although it's not a sexual scene, it's just long. It's Very long. long and naked. Yeah. 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 And that really, that scene's about, one, it's about her being uninhibited. It's also just so that Fresnel can come in one more time and say, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry about that. Curly Bear. <laughs> I'm so sorry that's about Curly Bear. That's the reason when he's leaving. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so that's that great. he can hug her and say, I'm so, so sorry, sorry about Curly Bear. And it's perfect because it's right off camera. Yeah. And it just, yeah, that mm-hmm. works real nice. That's really, a lot of the, it's a, you know. A lot it of sounds movie, like you had a lot of fun making. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a really good yeah. time. Because yeah. yeah. we weren't stressed about making it make sense and like right, right. following a bunch of like terrific structure that would make it really satisfying. People and just all got to be funny. And normally yeah. a couple of people in the movie have to sort of yeah. play the straight man, and we didn't bother with that. We yeah. let Fair people enough. come down and just kind of have fun. Well, you can check it out. It's on demand right now mm-hmm. and uh, in theaters September 6th. Yep. Excellent. Yes. So please do that. I want to talk real quick about uh, you guys recently did an AMA mm-hmm. on Reddit. It was yep. a lot of fun. First one of those. And you guys have yeah. never really uh, dabbled in no. Reddit land? No, no it's our exciting. First, our first, so that was uh, pretty great. Reddit's yeah. like, uh, it's out. everything. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty great. Like, people, yeah. the immediate interaction, like, immediate feedback, great questions from oh, yeah. people. It was cool. People asked some truly genius questions on Reddit. They were really funny. Yeah. yeah. It took the pressure off. My the favorite questions were funny. question, yeah. if you Google it, is someone sent in a question that was just day two? Day two? With a question mark? Question <laughs> mark? And uh, we answered it at length. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Day two? We also answered at length, uh, did you see the, uh, our piece about uh, Gotham City Flippers? No, I did not. Very I think it might be a new show that, that we do. Someone asked why my character in Memento is also in The Dark Knight Rises. That's right, you play a doctor. And I said it's because I'm also, I, I've moved from California to Gotham to start flipping apartments. And <laughs> stop. so Gotham. It was a very, yeah, the market's very low. Yeah. Every time there's a supervillain attack. Right. Yeah. yeah. You buy up the properties near the bridge, Bane blew up mm-hmm. for real cheap. I mm-hmm. mean, the, the mm-hmm. market in a steam just shower. tanks mm-hmm. after yeah, one of these of course. things. And they seem to be happening all the time. They seem to be happening all the time. Joker blows up a ferry full of people. Yeah, no, that's going to hurt property values. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Yeah. Suddenly you can get some deal. Yeah. Right. Then you right. put in Arkham, the neighborhood goes up, they get out yeah. of Arkham, it goes back down. Right. It's a, but even if you're just buying up places city. around Arkham. Sure. Yeah. Oh, don't, yeah. yeah. I'd imagine that 10 block radius around Arkham you has got to be almost like steals. a demilitarized they're, they're almost giving it away. <laughs> but then, <laughs> the, away. The, but then right. the vinyl record stores come in, yeah. the hipsters move in, right. Arkham, right. and then the renaissance begins. And then Arkham, there's a break, and all the hipsters are murdered by the Riddler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... That's uh, so. Look out for oh, God look out for God. Uh, Reddit. Yeah, we <laughs> know about Reddit. Did you yeah. know about Reddit? I you, did. You I, I frequent Reddit. Thing. Yeah. I think Reddit's amazing, specifically for the AMAs, because right. John Malkovich did one uh, oh. about a month back. Oh, neat. Wow. Kind of changes your life a little bit. That's mm-hmm. pretty. Because cool. you read that, and he, the the you know you talked about going into depth. Oh yeah. This dude 
Mm-hmm. And every and, and because you're because you're trained and you're conditioned to read all of his responses in his voice. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Only your yeah. brain I can do so perfect. I need this gun to kill the president. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's so what great. And it's, it's, yeah, it's just like this never ending. Picture what he sounds like. <laughs> and what a thoughtful. I know. I need guy. this gun to kill the president. <laughs> yeah. awesome. We got to talk about Reno. We're almost out of time, but I have to talk about Reno 911 mm-hmm. because um, you know that was a fantastic show on Comedy Central. Tom, you played um, Lieutenant Dangle, mm-hmm. who's a, like a sexually ambiguous. No, no, no. Uh, Lieutenant no. Dangle's uh, <laughs> out, sure out and gay. It, it, people always ask, like, when is when are we going to find out about Lieutenant Dangle? Yeah. Lieutenant Gang- Dangle makes out with a man. Sure. In the pilot, in the pilot. Yep. of yeah. Reno 911. Certainly. And people are always like, hey, this guy's maybe got something in the closet. We don't know about it. I'm yeah. like, there's well, no closet. No, we know about it. There's no closet. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. know about it. Nominated for a GLAAD award. We didn't win it. But ah, that yeah. makeout uh, is the thing that kept us off of Fox, pretty much. Because right? really? we originally did the pilot for Fox. In the year. And they wanted us. Fall of they... 2000, or maybe it was even 99. Well, 99. 2000 yeah. is crazy time. Crazy, crazy time. time. Crazy but we time. shot that show for Fox. Yeah. The idea is it would be a companion piece right after Cops. We no. thought, yes, totally. Really? On yes. Saturday Just, nights. Uh, yeah. Two polar hours. We had a yeah. sketch show that was canceled, and we're like, well, what if the, the slot would have been the right after cops, which is, I think, 9.30 p.m. or yeah. something on Saturday, yeah. on Saturday nights? And we're like, oh my God, what if we just do the show that was on right before us, but as a sketch show? Right. Oh, another weird thing about it is in the pilot of Reno, we play the cops and all of the perps. We play everybody. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like Little Britain. Yeah. Right, it, right, it, right, right, right. it really does feel like a sketch show. You, sure. really, you pull up to a house and walk in, and we're also the people in the house yeah. that are doing a domestic dispute. That's right. Because Harry, like, even in the, like Harry mm-hmm. played the Harry the, played the Jackie crazy. the pickle throwing hooker. Right. Yeah. We we ended up phasing <laughs> it out for the most part. Yeah. That was a big Comedy Central note. They're like when they bought it three. It sat on the shelf for three years. Right. Yeah, and really. They bought it. And they thought they that was it. too sketchy, and, and they, they were said, right. Like it changed. That's too stupid. Sure. Because it was. It was like a Muppet show. Yeah. Because like literally, it's like the mullet show. Because we'd always be putting on like fake like teeth and wigs, and then we'd keep catching ourselves. And it was, it was in a hindsight, it's pretty dumb. Yeah, we have that pilot. We should put it on the internet because I think everyone would appreciate that. It's, yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's weird. Good. I, parts of it are good. Yeah. Well, the, it's one thing broad. that stayed, TT, Nisi yes, always played. Sure. Yeah. The one who with the big floppy uh, and just dra- she would always drag like a yeah. boiler with yeah. her. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nisi Y'all says apparently that's one of her aunts. Apparently it is. Oh my Y'all on your break. Right on. Um, you got good hair. Great you got good hair. I've got that, you know, I've got Nisi's butt in my basement. Yes. So oh, really? The synthetic butt, butt, butt in the movie. I got a lot of Reno stuff in my house just because it had to be stored somewhere. So <laughs> one of the things is a huge prosthetic behind, mm. which, um, I, yeah. With, well, that's on a cold, lonely mantle. nights, I'm sure it could come in handy. Snuggle up with that butt yeah. a little bit, right? <laughs> Put on uh, the Muppets. <laughs> and Ben, you play. Quietly <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> oh, Janice. You're oh, the sexiest Janice. Muppet, Janice. Oh, Janice. Oh, Janice. Oh, Janice. She did a spread, and we, you guys, didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, hey, I wouldn't give. I feel like we're gonna get a call from the Jim Henson people, being like, "You guys, don't, hey guys, don't, that's don't really creepy. Guys, don't sexualize Janice that's from the really electric creepy. mayhem. Yeah, don't sexualize her. We're yeah. just gonna have our hands up there behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are creeps. We're, we're teaching kids to read with these Muppets. Don't. <laughs> yeah, don't, right. don't That's on us. That's our bad. Yeah, that's sorry. our bad. You're right, Jim Henson. That's our bad. Rest your soul. Yeah. I'm curious how you guys feel about the characters on that show. We talked about Dangle for a bit. You played Deputy Junior, who was. A clearly visually impaired mm. uh, mm. sort of uh, almost like hillbilly mm. maniac. Yeah, uh, I simpleton. From, Simple. Mm. I'm from Tennessee, and all of my uncles think that's an impression of them. Oh, do they really? It's not. That's not nice. Yeah, they, but they they, they think that I'm sort of trying oh. to, to do. Yeah, you do Randy. Have one, you have one uncle who I can't quite understand. Randy. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> yeah. You gone ahead? Randy. Yeah. He talks was, like Boomhauer. I was right. at, uh, in Vegas with Ben, and his uncle was coming around the corner. He said, "Hey, go on ahead." And yeah. I was like. I literally don't know what that was. Any it was, subtitles? It was probably positive. Pop, pop, yeah. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he said it's everybody all around in there. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're going yet. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Tend to, I tend to, and even that doesn't make sense. I tend no. to just agree. Yeah, you're going out. Yeah, I'm it's gonna a safe do bet. it. Going to yeah. do it. So I just agreed. Yeah. Who's your guy's favorite um, character outside of the regular cast? Mm. I just want to tell uh, you mine real quick. And sure. Then, uh, Steve Little, oh. the guy from the future. Yeah. So great. Come on. It was, yeah. it was not explained to me. It was not explained <laughs> to me, Judge. Like it was not uh, explained to me. Judge. When he says, like, your mother didn't know. Your mother didn't yeah. know. It so was the, not explained to me. The way that we do auditions yeah. for Reno is people come in and we just ask you. It's all improv Did actors. you call us or, did, or did, were we called about you? And they oh, say, the oh, question. somebody probably called you guys about me. And you say, okay. And then you walk up, and then Steve Little turns around and goes, it would not explain to me, Judge. <laughs> and you have no explain. idea what they're going to do. Like, all I said is, what if I don't have any clothes on and I have cocaine smeared all sure. over my face? And we and said, I, great. Great. 
It was not explained to me. It was not explained. I'm making a cake. Uh, That's that how we met Ms. Tasha Keegan, Legero. Tasha Legero. Yeah. Came in and started trying to, to change her clothes. Trying to change panties while we were, like, yeah. arresting her for being drunk. Wait, this is a second. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> and she kept pulling different things that she wanted. It was like she was really high, and she couldn't decide what she wanted to be wearing, and she wasn't. Right. She didn't like anything she had on, but she also didn't like anything in the bag. No. We just so fell in just, love with her. We were like, she oh just my started, God. and then we tried to pick her up, and she, we were like, she can kind of go limp in these amazing <laughs> ways. She only weighs ninety five pounds. She's yeah, so you can just thing. pick her up with one hand. She, Great. Uh, so that was we, that was always very impressive. Keegan, Keegan Michael Key, sure. obviously is in Hell Baby yes. because of his amazing he's run on Reno. on Reno. He would always pretend to not like, know he I, stole I, things. Exactly. I'm not saying a gentleman. I have a gentleman who had a head in his trunk. I'm not saying I'm saying that. Saying I do. Hypothetically, if I had a head, white male, thirty five years old. He does that so Hypothetically, yeah, that was a great character. We did a ton of those. Uh, the um, most, it's so funny, the most Toby we ever talked with, with yeah. yeah, Toby Huss just said, what if I have like a do-rag yeah. and a packet of Kents in my shirt? <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, okay. okay. And we're going to start shooting 20 of those. Yeah. yeah. He's really accurate to cops. Yeah. Yes. And he's he just exactly turns and cops. screams like, Brenda, Brenda! He's always just turning and screaming at somebody. Oh, great. Here come the cops yeah. harassing Big Mike Thank again. You, like, uh, Nick Swartzen's always a lot of Nick's fun. Love the Nick trick Swartzen. about Nick is no one cracks himself up more than Nick. You so edit, he laughs at his own stuff. You the edit around. Is that, ba- is that his bad? Laughs. You get frustrated with just, that? No, it's fine. But Nick, it is talking, funny. And it's like, what? It's like, what? I just put, <laughs> and he just has, he keeps. Our cameraman can't, knows like, to kind of, after Nick says something funny, go to us. Yeah. Nick might laugh after he That's says That's a good it. thing about the mustache if, if you go like this. You can laugh oh. in the mustache and it covers your face. Excellent. It covers the line. Nobody really knows what you're doing. Yeah. That's the, yeah. That's the iconic um, straight man right there. Jim Rash always makes always me laugh funny. really hard. Always funny. Look, look, look. <laughs> uh, Jack Plotnick as Steve Marmella. Who's yes. Like, this is a goof. I am doing this as a goof. Like, yeah. Even like Patton Oswald. Oh. Like, like he never got the opportunity. He'd always come in and be he's like, like the LARP guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the the Dungeons and Dragons. Sure. His, his name yeah. was the Boots Bo- of Escaping. Boots <laughs> of Escaping. His name was the Booze Hammer of Galen. The booze Hammer of Galen. Is uh, Patton's character. And nobody ever got to like. <laughs> right. None of these guys got to just come and be. Cr- they're craziest. You know, come and just sure. say whatever came to their mind and have like a ten minute long insane scene. And right. My, fav- my, my favorite one of D&D. Patton was the one we said, "Hey, Patton, it's like, could we? We'll walk up to you." And let's say there was a and d game and somebody somebody got actually shot with an arrow because right. it got so heated. So in the background, there's an extra. Yeah, an and we will, uh, we'll just, we won't interrupt you too much. Right. So we ended up, I think Patton told like a 20-minute story. Sure. Yes. And, and you can said, see. so I what smoke, happened? And then right. he talks for 20 minutes yeah. about like this I D&D smoked adventure. two Merit 100s. <laughs> and I, I remember I just happened to have Merit 100s, which is the longer one. Super it's long a cigarette, cigarette that long. And I smoke an entire one. Yeah. In the shot, then you see me finish it. Start another one, and then I finish that one. He just and talks, and okay. he just tells a story. So great. And occasionally we ask him just to clarify something, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, Wait, was it an actual dragon, or was man? This we had, like it was really fun because sometimes sometimes we wouldn't even have a plan. Have a plan. No, we just it seemed like it was a lot yeah, of fun to do. Really, I hope really it's. Really a, is there any? You know, hopefully it could come back through like a thing like Netflix. Yeah, they well, offered us. They that. have offered yeah. it, and I don't know if that offer is still on the yeah. table. But at one point they offered it. I will say it was before everything on Netflix exploded in yes. the stratosphere. Right, right. right. So we didn't really know what it that was. It was so, Netflix was very early on, and, sure. and they're like, "What if you do more for these?" Yeah. We, we, and we talked were like, about doing oh. a limited run of like a Twin Peaks, you know, do, to do one we sort of like doing mystery that yeah. a fire walk six, with me. Series, six yeah. episodes. The only thing out. we know about is it starts with. Uh, <laughs> They find a body wrapped up in plastic. Yeah. Works for me. And uh, Dangle is on uh, a discount uh, cigarette, like stop smoking Chantix medicine. <laughs> right. That's like a knockoff from Canada. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so so Kyle McLaughlin may be just yeah. a hallucination the whole yeah. time. Oh, like, that's yeah, yeah. We so it's like a it. sort of a beautiful art film yeah. version. We might, there's a possibility. We All right, it sounds like mm-hmm. you guys got to get out of here. We're okay for a second. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to thank you for being here. Are you kidding? A pleasure. Everyone yeah. check out Hell Baby. Thank you. Uh, that's out on demand right now. It's in theater September 6th. Follow Thomas on Twitter, at Thomas Lennon. I'd say the same for you, Ben. What's I'll the write deal? you a postcard. Give What's the deal? Right? Give me a call. Literally cut off postcard. from the digital world. No, no, no. Wouldn't that be a great thing I respect the hell out of yeah. that. I love it. My yeah. phone barely Keep even works. It's hold great. out. That's hold a great out. Because yeah. yeah. I know you're obviously I'm gonna, in the front. I'm going to see if i got any comments about me on Twitter right now. Fair enough. Uh, we got to get out of here. Too. Seriously, thanks so much for being here. It was great. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a blast. Yeah. Go check out the film. That's going to do it for this very special edition of the 404 Show. 866-404-CNET is our number. You can email us, the 404 at cnet.com. Let me know what you think about these two fine gentlemen. 
That'll do it for us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.